Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to all of you. It is Christmas week. I'm very excited. I can't bloody wait. Welcome anyway to Let's Build. And welcome to the third part of the Arts and Crafts store. Um, we're going to be cracking on with the actual store itself today. So we're going to be doing all of the lovely little trinkety bits. See what we can come up with. Some nice display tables, some lovely wall hangings. We're going to do it all, loves. It's going to be lovely. Um, I'll also introduce you to the family that I have made as well. Um, they're cute. They're so lovely. I've used some names, some Navajo names as well. Um... And I'm hoping I can get the pronunciations right. And then what we'll do is go inside and uh, furnish everything. Furnish everything up. So today, my loves, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a different week this week. I'm going to be bringing out the final part of this tomorrow. And then I'm going to do another Design Me Devon on Wednesday. And then Christmas Eve, I've got a little special video planned for you all, which will be out then. And then that is me complete for the Christmas period. I'm taking some time off. I'm going to be back on the 4th of January and we'll carry on as normal, but in a brand new year. Let's hope it's a much better the year than what this shit show has been. Um, awful, awful, awful year. Needs to end, really. Really does. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into game and I'll introduce you to the family. So here we are, my loves, back at the arts and crafts store. I haven't done anything from last time. Nothing has changed. Don't worry about these tables. They're going to be in there in just a second. Um, yeah, no, I've kept it completely. The only thing that I have done is I added on a toilet to the two kind of like little residential places where one of the... Well, I've only done one child. I was going to do two, but I've actually decided I'm going for one child. So this is their bedroom. And then obviously this is going to be... Um, the grandparents' bedroom. And I'm going to introduce you to her first. Um, I went with kind of a mixture of their names. Traditional kind of like Navajo, like war names. Um, I know that you can ha get named from your personality traits as well, which I love that. I absolutely love that. I'm just reading here as well. There's some clan influence names. So there's like... From, depending on what clan you're from, you can sort of like decipher that by your name, which I thought that was lovely. Um, names based on where person is from and names from ancestry as well. But I love the names based on like personality. I, I just thought that was really, really, really interesting. And I knew it was something like that. I remember reading it years ago, but um, I didn't know it went as like far as... Like, even somebody... Th I was watching a video and this guy said that there was somebody called, like, named after his body odour. <laughs> I just thought that was brilliant. I just thought that was absolutely brilliant. Um, But yeah, we're here. We're here. And this, my loves, is who we're going to introduce you to first. So this, I'm going to... I'm going to apologise. I'm going to try and get these names right as I possibly can. Now, they are not spelt right because of the characters that I've got on my keyboard. I couldn't use the right characters um, and I really really wanted to I don't know how you do that in the sims I have no idea but I really wanted to but anyway so this is a des bar which means the kind of warrior that leads the fight or leads the raid um because she's the kind of matriarch of the family I just thought that name made so much sense for her and I loved that now I, again I apologize if I got the uh, air <laughs> the pronunciation wrong i'm trying my hardest i'm a little english man trying my hardest to get, to get these names right that is are uh, just so far into my tongue and yet they feel they're so lovely i love what they stand for so yeah that this is a desba her husband sadly passed away he passed away many years ago now they were quite young when he passed away um and she and her daughter have grown closer ever since. This is her daughter here. I'll introduce you to her in a minute. Um, and that is where they decided to take on this place. Which, in my head, I think this place maybe used to be an old petrol station or a gas station, as you would call it in America. Um, with a store. And they've kind of, like, added on pieces here and there and used, like, wood. And that was where my thoughts were going with this. So she's kind of, she is the matriarch of the family. She runs the show. 
Um, she's very kind, loves nature, constantly cooking, absolutely loves her food. Um, trying to keep traditions alive in her family as well. So she's teaching the child. I'm not going to say his name yet because I cannot get it right yet. I have to practice saying the child's name and um, just helping trying to get these traditions of their culture through. And that is where I'm going to leave her kind of little. But I think she's lovely. She's lovely. She's got such a lovely face as well. Such a lovely face. Um, we'll move on to the daughter. I'm going to crucify this name, but I'm going to try my hardest. This is Bernardo de Cruce. <laughs> it basically means that she has blue eyes. And she does have blue eyes. She gets her blue eyes, blue eyes from her dad. Her dad had these beautiful blue eyes. And that is exactly what she's got. You can't really see it at the minute because she's got her eyes closed because she's hugging. But she's got these stunningly blue eyes, which I think are beautiful, even though she's, she looks so much like her mum. So much like her mum, and I'm for it. Oh, parent and level, I'm stunning. Um, so yeah, I think she is absolutely lovely. She is a very earthy child. She's all about nature. She really loves to garden. So her this is the, her main kind of like expertise. She loves to garden well, whereas her mum does. Her mum really, really does, and she's taught her everything she knows, but she's kind of let... Um, but now kind of go and take the reins and sort of run with it. Um, and I just love that. And I love the meaning of her name as well. I just think that's so beautiful. So beautiful. You can even have names as well, which I learned. Um, you can be kind of named after your uh, mum, like whatever your mum's job was. It could come into your name, not, not just job, anything like it's just very interesting. You need to look it up. I will leave some references down below if you want to go and have a little look for yourselves. It's such a beautiful way. Look at these two. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to crucify these names as well, but we're going to give it a go. Are you ready? So on to the dad. Now, this is Ashke Itsidi. Now, I think from my understanding, Itsidi means like silversmith, um, which he is. He's a maker. He makes stuff in his workshop. Which I really love. So maybe his main kind of like forte is silver. Now we haven't really got that aspiration or anything. Trait, um, hobby even. Or just thing. To, to make him have like a silversmith thing. This is The Sims. But I really loved that way. Ashki actually means boy. But I couldn't find what would mean man. So I've called, I've just, this is a nickname for him. So I've just called him Ashki at Sidi. And I think that sounds really, really nice. Like, I think it's beautiful. His son is also Ashki Anadoli. I think I may have got that right. I probably haven't and I can only apologize. But even my Sims with like English names or um, any other name, I always end up forgetting and calling them different names anyway. Like his little face. But Ashki Anadoli, I think it means cheerful like someone who's very happy and that is his one of his traits it is one of his traits and i just thought that was lovely to name them after a trait as well which is how um that happens often i just thought that was so sweet and it's easy to do in the sims not so in easy for an english man like me <laughs> to say the names but i still love learning and i still love kind of trying to give it my best you know i think that's the way that i'm going to go with it this time but yeah, he's a really, really good dad. Really, really good dad. Again, teaching his son all that he knows, especially in his workshop. We haven't really got everything out in his workshop that we do need. Um, I'll probably do that off of camera because we're starting on the main shop today. So you can see I've kind of lifted them up into levels, into like tiers towards the back. I really, really wanted to do that in here. I just think that's really attractive, like seeing into the shop like that, you know? And it kind of like lifts up all the way into there then. Same wallpapers and flooring all the way through the house. So tiles here, a bit of like the Adobe or Adobe. Is it Adobe? I don't know, but we're going to go with it. A bit of that on the walls, which I really, really love. Um, and we'll get to doing this. We'll get to doing the main house tomorrow and as long with these... Um, two little huts here and I will be doing some off of camera as well just so we can get these parts into two episodes but as always I will show you what I've done before um we go on to anything else which is nice so yeah I hope you like the family I love them I cannot wait to see the characters shine through again 
this is me just trying for representation. I think representation is important and I want to do as much as I can personally to just try and help. Uh, and that's what I want to do. So without further ado, let's get into build mode and we're going to start furnishing the store. Okay, then my beautiful community. Here we are. We are in the store. We are going to make a start on things today. Now, I think this little area here would be perfect for like a main sort of like selling point, if you know what I mean, because you they're obviously going to be selling whatever they're making, whatever they're, whatever produce they've got. I'm hoping that this one comes in a good swatch. Oh, that's pretty. It's got origami on it though. That doesn't really make sense. I don't mind the first one that we had. The first one was really cute with the like little planty thing there. Maybe I could do that one there. I just think this would be a good access point for them to get in this way. And then we can sell whatever kind of like produce we've got on this like table here. I'm kind of for that. I really am. I think what I'm going to do though is maybe put a couple of these in here. Maybe the other one from um, the this one here. This one here from Jungle Adventure would look really lovely in here as well. Oh, that's a lovely pattern. I want to get some blues though. I'm feeling like some blues coming in. I think because the majority, well, not the majority, but a lot of the jewellery that they do sell is that beautiful turquoise jewellery. My friend, absolutely, she is dressed all the time in turquoise. She absolutely loves it. So I want to get a bit of, yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? Where could we put this one? I do want another selling point, but maybe not here. Maybe we could do it a little bit further back, like around here. Oh, yes. Yes, round about there. Look at me as well in a pop of yellow today. I feel like Big Bird from Sesame Street and I'm for it. Oh, <laughs> God, I zoomed right out then. Um, yeah, I'm for it. I really am. I do like it. It's such a cozy jumper as well. I love this jumper. Love this jumper. Well, this isn't working anywhere, really. It needs to probably maybe go at the back of the store, which will give them more opportunity to go to the back of the store then, which is nice. So maybe we could do this as a bit more of like the woodworking bit we could have this as loads of wood bits up on the wall this could be like full of tapestries all down here we'll definitely get those tapestries up on the wall first actually well why we've said it you know we may as well so that hand spun tapestry i think would be perfect in here and we'll do some really really lovely colors now obviously a lot of these um tones may not make sense but we're working with what we've got in the sims we are working with what we've got i think the one what i love that one there would look great I want some more blues. We're getting that turquoise in, sweetie. But um, guys, this is our last week together. I'm going to miss you. I am. I'm going to miss you. But mama needs some time off. I've been creating nearly daily videos since March. And I'm really looking forward to having some time off. Not from you lot. I don't need time off from you. This isn't a real... Well, it is a kind of relationship. But it's a good relationship. We're on good terms. You know? <laughs> But I just really would love just some time, just some time with Tom and time with Blue just to chill out and not have to be creative every day. And fat, I'm just going to sit down and get fat. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So if I come back 10 times more heavier than I was before, it's because I had a lovely time, you know? Oh, God, I don't like what I did. What was I doing that for anyway? Don't like that at all. But I love these. These would work really, really well. Now, so many of you said as well to use the jewellery from Island Living, which I think would be perfect. So maybe we need to get like another selling table or we should put them in display cases. Let me pull out a few bits. Guys, I am having so much trouble finding this necklace. I don't know where it is. No idea where it is. I've looked everywhere where I can think of it being debug, live edit, and I can't find it. I'm very fuming. We'll take you out though. These carvings as well probably won't make sense. But I just want to get as many wall carvings out as we possibly can. Um, so just for a bit of woodworking, you know. So it might not necessarily reflect the culture or anything. But I just want to get that out there, you know. But I haven't, I haven't found this necklace anywhere. I cannot see it. I don't know where it is. So one of you guys are going to have to let me know where this is because I do not know. Do not know where it is. Do not know. Now, I've pulled out some crystals as well. We're definitely going to be selling some crystals in this shop without a shadow of a doubt. So I do want to get out 
as many crystals as we possibly can. And I think I'm going to make this display case. The majority of it crystals. Oh, they would look cool as well. We'll do them. They would look nice. Um, Where are those crystals gone? I had them just a minute ago. Here they all are. These are all like refined ones. So I do want to get some like bigger. What's this? Am Amazonite. We'll get something that out as well. Stunning. But I think I'm going to like make all of this just look like beautiful jewelry. Oh, God. We're going to be fighting with the snap points. I can feel it already. I can feel it already. So let's get out, out loads of these. Maybe I can put the Amazon Zite. <laughs> Amazonite in the middle and then do it this way. Yes. And then a bit of red. I'm feeling a bit of red coming on. Is there snap points in the front? There is. Bit of you. I want some more blues. Some more bluey looking ones. So this is a place where they can get crystals and stuff from. Oh, I love that idea. And then behind here, these might not, these might just be for a bit of decoration. I'm going to put these two behind here, like so. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. And then you above it like this. Just for a little bit of decoration on that there. Oh, stunning. Oh, I'm here for it. Really am. Yeah, that looks cute there. Gonna get out loads of rugs as well. Hand spun rugs. Um, again, I reckon the grandparent taught them how to make rugs and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna get out a few. Definitely. And I, do you know what one would look really good? This is shocking me saying it. But um, the ones from Nifty Knitting, which in my opinion is one of the worst packs. But, you know, <laughs> we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. So maybe I could lay these out nicely up here. Like in just a few nice brighter colours. Should we go for a plain swatch? Yeah, we'll go for a plain one. There, there and there. So these are all for sale, these rugs. But you can walk on them as well. You know. We'll put them out of the back there. Pop this one a little bit further here as well. In fact, I'm going to put you in this orientation. So I can put some nice stands out here too. Um. Yes. And then this bit here is going to be like the kind of um, grocery area, if you know what I mean. The little grocery area. So I do want to move this a little bit further back. I did want this area as well to be... There's just so many bloody windows in here. I can hardly put anything anywhere. So maybe I'll put that over the window there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Doesn't matter that it hides the window. Oh, it looks cute from the other side as well. And that's just kind of keeping that area together nicely as well. Okay. Okay, right, I'm going to pull out loads and loads of objects and we're going to start placing it everywhere. So give me two seconds. Okay, loves, I've pulled out a few little objects, but I've also pulled out something rather special. And it's this beautiful thing here, which is on the gallery. One of my lovely friends has created this. This is done by Grumpy Lynn Sims. So Lynn, I'm stealing it off of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was so clever. Such a cool way. So it's just full of produce. It is full of produce and I absolutely love it. And look at the detail in it. I'm just for it. It's even got mushrooms under here. Oh, I'm just loving it. What I did was darken down the uh, wood a little bit just so it fit in with the shop itself. But I love that. I absolutely love it and I couldn't have created anything like that myself um, with the time that I've got today, which is such a shame. But my God, Lynn, thank you so much. I'm stealing it. Thank you very much. <laughs> she will not mind. She's an absolute darling. <laughs> She's a darling. But I just think it fits perfectly in here. So I'm going to use it. I am. I'm going to use it. And then what I'm thinking is putting a few, couple more of these in. Shall I get another one of these in? Or would that be a bit overkill? Let's have a look. Let me, maybe I could get three in. Oh, no, I think I could. I think I can get three of those in there. Yes. Just for some bit, uh, kind of chilled produce. It's got like ice cream and stuff in there. I think that would be perfect. May put like a little neon sign up here, I'm thinking. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, something like that. Maybe the, the cup of, yeah, like this. Little hot drinks as well. And I don't think anything else. Oh, this one here. This one here too. I'm going to size it down though. And put that one just above it there. Just so it adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi there. You know? And that's exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, no, that's cute. I do love it. I, I'm in love with this Lynn. It's so cute. So, so cute. So I'm so glad that we've got that in the shop now. 
And I've pulled out a few more objects here as well. I've sized down these tapestries. I got rid of the window here so we can put more stuff up on the walls here. Um, I'm going to do some more crystals in here and in this one here as well. And maybe a table with some crystals on here, like a low table. This is going to be like an incense table where they sell lots of beautiful kind of handmade incense. And this is obviously going to be the woodworking station that I've pulled some more objects out. What they're going to sell. Rocking chairs. I'm going to put them in the window. Um, rugs. Maybe a couple more rugs here and there. But I think we've made a start on what I need. But this is saved the day. I'm still in absolute awe of that. So make sure you go and download that, guys. Because it is such an incredible object. And I'm for it. And Lynn is very creative. Very, very creative. And I adore her. Can we put anything up on the ceilings? I want some, like, decorations on the ceilings. Can we, like, do, like, hmm. These could be, like, little woodworking like things oh i like that idea little like baby mo mo mobiles or baby mobiles baby mo a mobile a mobile 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 <laughs> yeah we'll use that just go back where i had you for goodness sake and i'm gonna try and find some more crystals here as well so here we go i found them i found it i'm thinking about maybe putting these crystals on the flat table here so maybe I'll get that table out first. The one that I've got in mind is the low one that came with get to work. This one here. Maybe using a couple of these around here. Like one like here. One there. You know, just so it's like down on floor level. That'd be a great place to put these crystals and stuff then. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. Let's get back to where these were. Um, and there are a few more ones here as well. So we can get some different crystals going along. All this table. What's this one? Oh, a fire opal. Oh, we'll put you in the middle. You're gorgeous. Oh, I'm all for a crystal me. A socialite? Yeah, we'll have one of the... Oh, ooh. Ooh, they would look even better. We'll keep that one as it is. But these ones here would look great in the display cases. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I prefer that in the display case. But because these are refined, maybe they just look a little bit special back there, you know? And I'm for that. These are a bit more rough, a bit more right out the earth, you know? So we're going to do that. Okay, right, let's get some more. Um, I think we're not going to be able to find any other smaller ones, which is going to be very annoying. But um, maybe... Oh, here we go. Bit of that. There we go. Some more crystals there. And I'm thinking, actually, of just, no, I do want another table there. I just found it really difficult to put stuff on these. In fact, what we'll do here is put some nice books down. I think there'd be a great place to sell some books. So I'm going to use this as a little book stand instead. Um, what weird snap points. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> why? Just why? You know? Oh, God, I hate you, Sims 4. I really do. Really, je test you. Je test. Right, I'm going to spin this one around that way. And then come back here with these. Let's get some different looking ones down. Um, There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's what semi-working, shall we say. Semi-working. I think it'd be a good place to have some books anyway. And we'll just leave a little open book there as well. Someone's read it, you know. Definitely need some rugs around here as well. So I'm going to stick with a colourful vibe in here. And maybe pull out a few more. Oh, that's nice. Yes. These vibes here. Or maybe I should go smaller. And then I could put a few more up here then. I could do like one there. Oh, that's a good one. One there as well. Lovely. And then I'll put one off at an angle here, I think. In fact, why don't I bring one of these down here? So all of these rugs are for sale does say that at the front of the shop does say it so you can buy them Eh, i don't like that one there don't like that one there so all the colors are a little bit weird together but i'm quite for it i am i am i'm quite for it okay right i want a few more of these out these little like crafty bits um oh god i really hate this pack <laughs> really do i know so many people like it out there and i'm just like why <laughs> no i know i know it's cute and it's just it's just not for me i really really yeah i'm not a fan of it 
not a fan. But I'm not like picking on you if you like it or not, you know. We all like different things. And I'm just not a fan of that. I'm not. Am I recording? I am. I thought I wasn't recording then, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. Incense. Give me some incense now. Oh, right, Aiden. Um, do I want to like sell them? Oh, God. Three snap points. Three bits of incense. There you go. Done. Stunning. Now, I'll change the color of them as well. Change the color. And then a nice, yeah, pop of red. Can we get these up here? Oh, we can look. Oh, that's better. Okay, so at least these can fit in between them as well. That's going to fill the space up a lot nicer. Oh, oh, there's another snap point there as well. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll take all the snap points, loves. We can't be fussy. We really can't. So a nice little bit of incense there as well. Selling that. I also put some fossils in this bit here. I just thought that would be cool. Maybe it's something they found on their kind of expeditions out into the des, you know? You never know. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's starting to cook. that's starting to tell a bit of a story now. And I'm for it. I think we need some kind of like signage and stuff up here as well. So let me find something. So I ended up putting up a fire extinguisher. And I found these signs here, which are really cool. Because one of them's actually got crystals on. Didn't even realize that. How many years later? And there we are. What I'm going to use these for are uh, shopping baskets. I reckon you can come in and take one of these handmade woven baskets. And you can even buy these as well. I reckon these could be for sale. Um, oh, I'm sizing it down. And then you can do you can shop for your produce using these here. But I would definitely say these might be... Oh, God. I would definitely say these would be for sale as well. I might even put a few of these outside of a little sale sign next to it. That could be quite cute, actually. I'm going to do that. I am. I'm going to do it. But we use the plain brown ones on either side um, for the shopping ones. And then maybe the colourful ones can be for sale. Maybe. Maybe, you know. You know. Yeah, we'll do them like either side. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I've put a fire escape sign up there as well because there's a fire escape there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were going to do a door here, actually. I need to remember that. We were going to do a door. That just reminded me for a fire escape. Um, And I'm going to use this door that I've used inside here. There we go. This one here. Again, it looks very hand painted and I'm for it. I really am. So we'll put that there by the woodworking area. Stunning. Right. And as we said, I do want to get a few of these out the front as well. So I'm going to put a few of these. Oh, we've got the crystal sign there. So maybe I could just put them right next to the door. In some different tones. There we go. Stunning. And then another one. Oh, a blue one. That would be perfect. I'm going to sell them in the shop as well. Why not? We'll put them in the shop. Handwoven baskets. Um, Let's get a different colour. Right, there we go. And then I think I'll just grab... Oh, is that floating? Is that... Why are they all floating? What was that noise I also just made? <laughs> right, down we go. Come on. Enough playing. Enough playing. We've got shit to do. We've got shit to do, my love. Right, there we go. Yes. And then I'm going to get a sail sign out here. Should we use this one? Little miniature sail board next to it. That would be stupid. That would really be stupid. <laughs> so let me find the sail signs. There we go. Just use the one from Get to Work. I think it's very suiting. Very suiting. And I'm for it. I really am. We need something like either side here, but I don't know what I want to put down either side here. Can you not tech search? Um, Maybe some signs, actually. Signs would be good. Signs would be good down here as well. They would. I'm going to size them down, though, obviously. Just for, like, special offers and stuff. Yeah, I like that idea. I do. I do like that idea. Um, uh, nothing. Oh, oh, there we go. Look, there's yeah, some fruits and stuff. on. Really? Platform? Really? Stop it. Yes. Yeah, I enjoy that. Ah, oh, that looks cute. That looks cute. That's got enough in there now to kind of give me that vibe that I wanted. Like, Lynn, I'm going to keep saying thank you, but my God, that has just pulled this build together and I'm 
for it. And I like this area here as well. I think this area has got what it needs in it. It really has absolutely for it. So we'll make a start on the woodworking bit. So I reckon he does a lot of these like wood carvings for walls for decorative like purposes. So I'm for these. I may actually replace these here with these leaf ones. These ones here. I just think it's a bit more fitting. I don't think I'm getting the kind of Navajo vibe from kind of tiki objects, if you know what I mean. Cannot wait to build in... Um, that's a bit too big now. Cannot wait to build in uh, Island Living. I'm so looking forward to building there. I can't wait. It's going to be so interesting trying to get that kind of like culture to come through as well. Again, I'll try and do as much homework as possible. I really will. There we go. And I'm going to do you down here as well. Lovely. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's what I wanted. So, woodworking. Now, he's all about these as well. It's all about the... Uh, do I want to use these now? Maybe just a couple of these. Maybe a couple of them. Um, He's all about the birdhouses. All about them. So, we'll definitely make sure to get a few more birdhouses and stuff in there as well. But... I love these pieces here. I think this is one of my favourites that he does, you know. One of my favourites. A personal fave, you could say. A personal favourite. <laughs> uh, and we'll get some nice wooden objects up on here as well. Um, But I love these. These are cute. Put them down there. Now, bird houses. I do want to do a few colours, so I'm going to choose that one first. A nice brightly coloured one as well. Don't forget he's going to be using rocking chairs. We'll get the rocking chairs along here, I think. I think this... Excuse me. I think this space here would work best as the birdhouse part. Kind of looking onto the outdoors, you know? Oh, I'm for it, I tell you. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, I'm getting all the vibes, loves. I really am. All the vibes. I do want... Oh, God. <laughs> Let's get a yellow. I pop a yellow down. There we go. Right, now we're going to choose some of these as well. One there. No, I don't want a black one. I want them to be, like, lighter and warmer toned woods. Stunning. Now, will they be able to get through there? They should be able to. And if they're not, if they can't, they're fussy bastards. They really are. Um... I don't know what orientation to put these in. Maybe like two more here in different colours. Yeah, maybe. Let's fill it. And then we'll go warmer wood, but with a, a red. And then we'll go paler wood with a blue. Yes. But because I've put them kind of leaning into each other, I think I should do the same here. You know? Oh. Like there and there. Ah, yeah. Yeah, like that. I do, I like that. Very much do. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, even though he's got his... Um, can you piss off with your text search? Because he's got his workshop out the back here, I would still like to maybe get in a woodworking bench. Uh, where's his woodworking bench gone? What? Did I not even get one out? Oh, for goodness. For goodness. Um, anyway, I'm thinking about putting one there. If it will fit. Let's try it. Just for maybe repairs. Quick repairs, you know. Then he doesn't have to go out to the back for that. Woodworking table. Stunning. We'll make sure to get one out the back as well. I'll finish off the back garden as well for tomorrow. So you guys can kind of see the finished little woodworking station area. Yeah, no, that's cute. It's just going to be a bit difficult here now with this. I think. So I may just move it. It's like, oh, God. Oh, I hate trying to squeeze stuff in, in The Sims. It winds me up no end. Um, All right, I'm going to get rid of you. Goodbye. Piss off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it does. It kind of lends itself well, though, I think. Okay. And I think we need a few more sculptures and a few more finishing touches in the shop. And I think we're done, my loves. But this, I love it. And it's given me the vibes that I wanted. 
So cute. Cool. We're done. We're done here. I like how it looks. I think it's got everything that it needs. I may add a few objects in, so feel free, guys, to give me some more ideas. If you think there's something missing in here, what should I put in? But I just love the vibe of it in here, the feel of it. It feels like a family-run business, you know? All of these little trinkets and crystals and incense and produce. I'm absolutely for it. One thing I wanted to get in here was some, maybe some tea. Um, I don't know where we're going to do that, though. But I would love to try and get in like a little tea shelf somewhere. Uh, where they make their own teas and stuff as well. Um, but I love it. I do love it. As I said, feel free to give me some more ideas, guys. If you feel there's something missing, then let me know. Uh, <clears throat> next time... We're going to be obviously carrying on with the residential area where they live, their rooms and stuff. I will make a start on it um, and show you what I've done, especially this back garden area here, his workshop. I really want to do a bit more there and especially out in, on the actual decking itself where we're going to do some like um, hot pot pits and uh, barbecue areas and stuff. And then obviously these two little rooms here. But this build is definitely coming along and it feels... I don't know. Feels like a store and I'm for it. There we go, my loves. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate your faces as always. Uh, leave me some lovely comments below. I'll make sure to get to them. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to be back tomorrow with the next part of this. So until then, I will see you soon.